to the first coding app of our Machine Learning Accelerator class. I'm Rachel, and I'm an Applied Scientist at AWS Amazon Web Service, and I will be your guide to your first journey to use Jupyter Notebooks on Amazon SageMaker. So Amazon SageMaker is a machine learning integrated development environment for building, training, and debugging deploying models and monitoring the performance. So we are going to focus on the training part in this lab. If you are familiar with the Jupyter Notebook, that's great. You can think of Amazon SageMaker as the Jupyter Notebook stored on the AWS cloud. And uh, you can run the notebooks on the CPU or GPU instance by your design. So as a result, SageMaker connect Jupyter Notebooks to a cloud-based running time meaning that we can execute Python code without any required complicated environment setup on our own machine. So let's get started with launching the notebook instance. So first, after log into the AWS Management Console, we search and click through the Amazon SageMaker. In the main page, and so on our left, click through the notebook instance in the search box, and you can find the instance with its name. By just searching, so mine should be here, or you can just search on it's in the search box. So the status is stopped now, and we click the start button to turn it on. It may take several minutes, to launch the instance. So we just be a little patience here and wait for several minutes. Okay, great. Now the notebook status turns to green and in service, and we are ready to launch by clicking the open Jupyter button. So here is the main page of Jupyter Notebook, simple and clean. So on our right hand side, there is a new button here and we can click the new button and scroll down to create a new Jupyter Notebook with those environment like in the MXNet, TensorFlow, or PyTorch, or just simple Python 2 or 3. Or we can also launch a terminal instance here, uh, which we can use in the command line to execute. So in this Notebook instance, there is only one folder. If we click through it, there will be three subfolder here where we have the data, that's all the data for this class, no matter for the final project or for the sample notebooks we use during the class. We also have the slides, that all the slides for the MLA class are living here. And we're going to focus on the notebook, so click into this. And I will be using the L2 Gluon CV notebooks as a demo. So let's click through and launch the notebook. So each Jupyter Notebook is made with cells. Those cells are made from either code or markdown text cell. So the first two rows over here are the functional menu bars for the Notebook, where we can open a new file um, with a Notebook instance environment. And uh, we can also copy and paste. As you can see, here is a copy, here is a paste for those cells. And on our right hand side, we can see the environment we are running in for this notebook. Uh, this is um, MXNet Python 3.6 setup in this environment. And below that is the main content of the notebooks. So first and foremost cells are those code cells, as you can see with the number in one and two and three on it, those are code cells. So they can not only output uh, the value from the programming result, but also text, uh, plots, or other dynamic outputs from a third-party library. And second, we can also use cells to write text and insert images. So the text cells are formatted using the markdowns, which is a uh, plain text document format that rendered on the page. So markdown format is simple and powerful, allowing us to add headings like here 
and paragraphs, list, and even insert graphs. If you are right, uh, LaTeX and mathematical formula language, Markdown is also the best place to explain your math logic using LaTeX. To execute a cell, you can click the run button here. And one more quick trick, if you want to run the cells, you can use um, the shift enter shortcut on your keyboard. Uh, what is more, if you want to run all the cell in your notebook, you can click the kernel and say restart run all. Or if you want to run all the cell below some cells, you can run all both or run all below. So in the code cell, we can not only write code like Python, but also running command line code starting with the exclamation mark. For example, if we are using the GPU instance, we need to make sure that mx.conda version for GPU is installed by the command line publist. We can check is whether it's installed or not. And uh, we can also install some packages with the pub install, such as uh, here. And we can also check the auto clone version. So in the next code cell, it shows how to import library with the import function. So for example, we are import the auto clone packages, or we can use the from, from some package, import uh, some libraries. And then following that, we can leverage the packages of Autoglum and download some pre-trained model or some data set. So in the next cell, we download the Shopee data set. So at the download bar 10 screen, it's downloaded and we check the data in the folder where the notebook is living in. So we can go back and we can see that the data is sitting here within the same folder as our Jupyter notebook. Similarly, if we train any model later, most of the time we can save the models in the folders. So feel free to edit the text, the code, and the play around with the Jupyter notebook. And in the end, don't forget to save the notebook by clicking the Save button here. So even though hypothetically it should be saved automatically, I usually save it manually before quitting the notebook to go back and process. So when we are done with the notebook, we can close that and quickly go back to the main menu on the Jupyter notebook and click the Quit button. So um, if you are not running the instance for a while, then I highly suggest you um, to go back to the main menu and click um, through our instance and click the stop button here. And in this way, you won't be charged anymore for using the instance. Well, feel free to navigate through other SageMaker functions and all the Jupyter notebooks we provide you here. And I believe you will gain the momentum quickly and be mastered at SageMaker song.